what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro again and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Lineage ROM which is the unofficial ROM Lineage 16 let me show you the settings panel first I have flashed it and I have been using this ROM for at least like two days now so I'll show you how is the ROM so let me just go into the about section and Android version here as you can see the Android version and this is the unofficial Lineage ROM again and here you can see the build date is 17th August 2019 and the security patch is latest August 1st 2019 and we have the stock kernel as the pure CF into 8 kernel kind of like x8 and over here let me just go back and into system over here we do have the lineage OS updater and I think the updater does work over here it's not like it does not work it does work whenever there is update and this unofficial build is special and why is it special I'll show you in this video so let me start it from here this is the stock wallpaper over here we have and the stock launcher is of course the trebuchet launcher to the left we have the Google now cards over here and I can swipe down anywhere just like this to get into the notification panel kind of over here and if you go into the stock camera here as you can see we do have the MIUI camera in the official lineage ways there was the like when it was available in the official lineage was there was the snapdragon camera by default but here you do get the miui camera as like stock camera over here and it does work flawlessly some more good things let me show you that if you go into the settings and into system you will find the customizations of lineage OS, of course we have the button customization like this you can even change the button layout to inverted so that the back button goes to the right and we also have the home recent customization power menu customizations is there but the advanced reboot option if you want that you have to go into the developer options so in the developer options you will find the advanced reboot and over here long press for torch is there this is working fine over here we have the volume panel customization and we have the show panel on even left side so this is how the volume panel expands as you can see i think this feature was not there in stock lineage OS and like let me go back i mean official language was by the way and inside status bar like we have like these kind of customizations quick pull down from right or left network traffic monitor is there inside system icons you will find the headset bluetooth etc icon let me go back and there is no volte icon still over here let me show you more things like clock position and stuff and we also have the battery style so you can change this to circle or icon portrait or like normal text and you can change the battery like position but there is no android q style or something like that so do not expect a lot of customizations like that and we have these kind of like customizations which are the brightness control by sliding on the status bar so these features are really cool i would say if you go into the gestures we have the swipe up on home button but there is no three finger screenshot gesture over here or there is no full screen navigation gestures like those things are simply not present over here in this room and in the display settings we have the night light option you can turn it on if you want to it makes the display yellowish of course live display is there so you can change the color profile and change the in-depth rgb of the screen and even you can change hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen and we also have the style option so from here you can have this like style to automatic by time of the day or wallpaper or you can choose it to be light or dark and this is the like stock theme and accent colors are there so these many accent colors are there as like stock lineage OS and I have changed it to blueberry by default it's like this color on the default settings and let me go back and also we had the dark mode and sleep timer you can change up to 30 minutes we have the display size etc and full screen apps option is there so you can like set whichever app you want as to be working on the full screen double tap to wake is there and double tap to sleep is there too on the status bar wake up on plug you can disable it from here and if you go into the sound settings let me show you that we do not have any me audio direct because we simply have this audio fx in this rom and this is working fine the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty good too over here no problems at all regarding the sound over here and let me show you the stock dialer this is how the stock dialer look like and if i place a call let me show you that there is the like call recording option and stuff and even video calling option is there if you really need those you can install Google cameras too if you want to because camera to pay is pre enabled and one more good thing here even though this is an unofficial ROM Google pay or any other banking app should be working right out of the box over here in this ROM and let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app speeds and the RAM management over here let's open now Facebook Twitter 
प्ले स्टोर यूट्यूब इंस्टाग्राम नाउ लेट्स ओपन ऑल द एप्स फ्रॉम मेमोरी अगेन So as you can see, all the apps are in memory, and even the app open up animations are pretty fluid, no issues whatsoever regarding the app open up animations. Or I do not see any stutters over here at all in the UI. This ROM is really really smooth, even though this is an unofficial ROM. So that thing really impressed me. Like this ROM is pretty stable, and if you want a stock Android ish ROM with a very little customizations, this is a like kind of a perfect ROM for you, and it can definitely help you in like daily driving. PUBG performance is pretty decent. Let me show you in which settings you can play PUBG on this ROM. And while it's loading, here is the battery life of this ROM. And as you can see, the battery life is not bad. It can definitely last you about six to seven hours, like with six to seven hours of screen on time. And it can definitely last you a full working day if you are not a really heavy gamer or a heavy user. So even though the gaming performance seems good, but there is the smooth and medium settings. and if you go balanced again we have the medium and if you go hd there is no hd option available over here so you can play only on smooth and medium or balanced and medium so that is a bummer but yeah that is what settings you get on this rom for pubg and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom as you can see it's not bad it's pretty decent i would say and of course we do not have any kind of double tap to sleep on the like anywhere on home screen of this launcher because this is a trebuchet launcher so do not expect customizations like quick step or launcher launcher over here but this rom is pretty good like in if you do not play pubg a lot i would say this rom is pretty great if you don't need that kind of like higher pubg settings otherwise this rom like works super fine while daily driving So give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Carry and Tech signing off for today I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now